I have a fig tree in my backyard. Every year, birds would eat all the figs before I could harvest them. Scarecrow owls protected the fig crop, but after a while, the birds got used to the owls and the owls became ineffective. I had to resort to innovative tactics, like mounting a fan near the tree to blow air through the leaves. It worked. Now they're safe to ripen all the way to their sweetest potential. But why go to extremes to protect figs and not my other trees? My grandma lived on the Greek island of Icaria. In 1916, she immigrated to America, but before she started her journey, she cut a small branch from her fig tree and took it with her. She planted it on her farm in Lodi, California, where it grew to be a huge, beautiful tree with many hundreds of figs that our family feasted on each summer. A bowl of sweet, Juicy Figs was always in her refrigerator. When my dad grew up and got his own farm, he took a branch and planted it at his place. When I bought my house, I took a branch from dad's tree and planted it in the backyard. So my fig tree is related to the cutting that grandma brought from the old country. Icaria, as does all of Greece, has some wonderful customs. Dancing with live music is everywhere. Weddings, baptisms, parties. People form a chain, holding hands and dance in a circle. Everybody together. No partner is needed because everybody is your partner. Songs are really long. So long that they induce an almost trance-like bond between musicians, audience, and dancers. Music and dancing never stop. As the day, the night wears on, people get into a shared living in the moment state for hours on end. It's Zen combined with musical holy communion. There are many musicians in each community and they are fantastic. They're wizards as good as Eddie Van Halen and Carlos Santana, but unknown outside of Greece. They seem to me to be spiritual facilitators. Their notes reach directly into the hearts of the people. Then, a mystical thing happens. The amazing skill of the musicians, plus sheer length of the music, wears down what's left in people's shyness of communal unity. A little bit at a time, trust grows, the music flows, and wonderful group cohesion is achieved that puts joy into each connected soul. Let 
go and become one. I recall many times when I was a young boy listening to the music at parties and reaching a state of there is no me, just a mystical us. It's one of the greatest community trust building customs. But there's one more thing the world needs to pay attention to. Maybe the most important thing. It's about not needing a partner or anything else to feel included. Every person is welcome and enthusiastically invited into the whole. There's no rejection. clicks, no fear of being left out, no insecurities if you don't know anyone. It's such a euphoric feeling to get total acceptance at every party, all the time, every time. There's been some focus on using inclusion as a social healing method. For example, at UC Berkeley. To develop more inclusivity, the world could use traditions like Greek dancing that solve alienation and promote inclusion. Each Greek individually by themselves can be just as dysfunctional as everyone else on this planet. But Greek culture as a whole has solved one of the biggest problems in the rest of the world, loneliness and alienation. In countries with the highest suicide rates, alienation is part of the problem. Icarians don't suffer much from depression or dementia and have one of the highest life expectancy rates in the world. I think one reason is that they have a built-in system of community healing. The takeaway is to design our traditions, cities, and policies to decrease alienation. Otherwise, society and government can inadvertently take the humanity out of us. For example, in some cities, Building a granny house in your backyard is against building codes. But grannies are important. To create an environment where rejection is eliminated, think like an Icarian. Think how they designed their dance to maximize inclusiveness. For example, you don't need a special pass to join, you just take someone's hand. Seems simple, but the result is a vibrant and cohesive community that extends way beyond the party. If someone is benefiting from that much acceptance, after a while the continuous inclusion from the community gives them a sense of belonging.
to discover fresh perspectives for solutions to political or social problems you're working on, add inclusion to your solution tool set. Sometimes the root cause of the problem are the people that don't feel included. If you're a lawmaker, city planner, or nonprofit, add inclusion as a project benefit and a key metric. So can traditions from the old country make the new world better? Maybe inclusiveness is the best framework to solve society's problems. My Icarian fig tree has sentimental value, but also represents a path forward. It represents a place where there are no others. Where there's no others. Everybody. Everybody. is just us. <laughs> Society needs to learn the incredible power that Icarians bring to the world. The power of inclusion.